We kept the kids at four, stayed with them, straight through. You heard about that intense program? And I'm telling you for our four-year-olds, 100% of our four-year-olds for six years in a row have tested at or above grade level when we send them into kindergarten. Not 80, not 90, every single child. And you know why? Let me tell you why. If a kid is 13 and they're three years behind, how long does it take to catch that child up? Who knows? Years, we know that. But at four, I got that kid from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5.45 in the evening. I got the kid for 11 months. I can catch any four-year-old up in that period of time. I can get you, I don't care where you came in at, in a year I can get you on grade level because it's young enough to intervene because the difference between what a four-year-old comes in who's from middle-class America and what a poor four, there's a difference, but it's not a difference that an intense program can't make up. So that's the first thing we begin early. The second thing is you have to create a continuum of programs that go straight through until those kids go to college. So those same kids we got at baby college, we put in our four-year-old program. Then those kids, we follow those kids in school, we work with those kids after school, we have middle school programs, we have high school programs, and we get that same group, we make sure those kids go to college, and we follow the kids in college to make sure they get through with college and they come out of college. Uh, right now we've got uh, 280 of our kids in college, uh, but if you look, this year we sent 145 uh, ninth graders into college, and we'll send somewhere between 140 to 150 kids in college every year from this point on. Now, so that means about three years from now, I'm gonna have about 500 kids in college. You know what that means three years from now? I'll be bringing home about 100 plus kids with college degrees every year from that point on. Now you know what that's gonna do for a community like Harlem, to have 100 kids coming home with college degree year after year after year after year. After a while, after a while, guess what? You turn around, you're gonna bump into a kid with a college degree. You say, oh, you got a degree? Everybody in Harlem got a degree. That's what it's gonna feel like when you get them in there by the hundreds, by the hundreds, that's the point of this thing, not by 20, not by 50. When you bring so many kids in, and they, these kids have come up through the community, they're part of the community, and they've been part of changing and building their community. You get those kids with college degree, they become your parents, they become the next ones who run your little leagues and do all of the kind of positive stuff you need. That's how you rebuild a community, and we think that's part of what you have to do. So you have to create this, what we call a conveyor belt, starting at birth, and by the way, this doesn't exist in any poor country, uh, community in America, except the one, that, except ours, not that I've seen. Somebody told me, oh, so-and-so is doing it, but I haven't seen it yet. We're the same kids that you picked up as infants, you stay with. You do not let those kids go. You do not let them fall off the track. You provide all the services, health, mental health, housing, food, nutrition, whatever these kids need, you make sure they get it throughout their entire time of childhood with you that's what it takes to turn around a community. 